I will be speaking from the perspective, the point of view of the Black Alliance for Peace and from uh, my individual point of view. Uh, one thing that struck me about the um, situation that Carlos shared with us was that when you look at the fact that the intensification of the attempt to try to uh, undermine the Bolivarian process uh, intensified under the Obama administration, and when you look at the fact that uh, most of the leading uh, Democrats uh, uh, shared that position to undermine the uh, democratic and revolutionary process in that country. What it suggests, my friends, is that uh, from the point of view of those of us who understand uh, what's really in stake with this international struggle among uh, the oppressor uh, states and the oppressed, uh, that in November, it really does not matter who sits in the white people's house. That basically, as it relates to the objective situation in Venezuela and the imperialist project, it's all going to be the same. And so we need to understand that, that basically there is a, a logic in place here. And while we support the attempts on the part of uh, our friends in Venezuela to engage in their process, we had no comments about that process of engagement among the opposition forces, uh, conversations. Uh, from our point of view, outside of that process, and as uh, citizens of empire, well, we have to acknowledge and understand that our responsibility, our task, is to engage in struggle, understanding that the objective logic of imperialism is such that they are completely committed to undermine, <clears throat> excuse me, undermining that project in that country. And let me just quote real quickly from uh, our, our dear friend, uh, Samira Men, uh, African political economist. He says, the imperialist countries of the historic West do not intend to allow other emerging states to emancipate themselves from the framework imposed by them and to leave the status quo, the status quo being uh, dominated per peripheries. The tension between the West and Russia, China, Iran is not a passing phenomenon, but the epic, epic center of a new violent remodeling of the world for the benefit of the Western bourgeoisie. That is the objective uh, logic of imperialism. When you look at the evolution of uh, the events uh, with the collapse uh, of the Soviet Union in the 1990s, uh, it was quite clear that uh, US decision makers understood from their point of view that in the 21st century, this was going to be a century of uh, US hegemony, uh, a century of armed hegemony on the part of the US. They even created uh, doctrines like the notion that they could fight two simultaneous wars. And that's what got them into the trouble uh, in Iraq and in Afghanistan. Two conflicts uh, they, they in fact uh, lost, and that's why they then moved to the use of proxy forces uh, as a consequence of those actions. And it's also why they moved toward the use of sanctions, that as it became quite clear that they could not um, uh, deploying uh, U.S. forces directly on the ground because of the potential opposition and because of the impact they had on the U.S. military, uh, they uh, rely more on their proxy forces uh, in the uh, so-called Middle East. Which brings us to us, those of us who are in the U.S., our responsibilities as citizens and residents of empire. We have to confront and defeat left opportunism. The, the tendency on the part of, of the liberal left and even some left forces to, um, to identify with and in fact objectively support through silence uh, or non-opposition the project of US imperialism. We, we have to confront this notion that uh, those of us in the West have some uh, uh, God-given right to be able to judge another process and to determine whether or not we oppose uh, U.S. intervention based on our 
our, our, our supposed understanding of what may be unfolding internally in those countries. So we have to deal with our own uh, inability to understand that the, the uh, relationship between oppressed nations and oppressor nations still remains. And we have to determine and understand what our responsibility must be within that international configuration. So my friends, what that says is that understanding that the object is to destroy the process in Venezuela. And that process is directed toward Venezuela because the, the gangsters that run US policy and control the US state, they understand that if you undermine Venezuela, you're undermining Latin America. They understand the connection between the Bolivarian project in Venezuela and the connection with Cuba and with Nicaragua. They've already been successful in reversing the process in Bolivia and in Ecuador. They were able to, uh, to, to execute a, a constitutional coup, if you will, in Brazil. So we've got to understand the, the, the terms uh, of struggle, understand it's about the international balance of forces, and that our responsibility is to oppose US imperialism uh, along with their uh, European of flunky uh, allies. That's our responsibility, and that's what we intend to do.